What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2022 uh, laddering session. It's been a while since I recorded one of these and it wasn't in a live stream. Uh, however, I have been pretty busy recently with school, so I haven't been streaming, uh, but if you do want to support me, I am trying to get partnered on Twitch, so if you want to check out my Twitch channel, link in the description down below. But today we're going to be hitting the ranked ladder, it's the start of a brand new season, so we're knocked back down into Great Ball 9. And uh, we're going to go ahead and use this Kamolo team that I built the other day in a video. If you want to check that out, uh, it should be recommended. Uh, but yeah, uh, the Kamolo team I used in the video and I thought it was fine. Um, after testing it a little bit more off camera, it did a lot better than in the video, mainly due to the fact that I had more sun matchups. And the team is really just meant for facing off against sun. Where did that go? There it is. The team is really meant for facing off against Sun and ruining their days. Uh, we have Breaking Swipe, Iron Defense, Protect, and Body Press Kamo with Bulky Zacian and Assault Vest, Eveltal, uh, Support, Prankster, Thunderous, which I now put Eerie Impulse over Foul Play on. Uh, we have a Wave, Incense, uh, Water Spout, Blastoise, and a Safety Goggles, Incinerer. But yeah, if you guys enjoy this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like on it. Subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily VGC content and answer my comment question of the day. What is your favorite G-Max Pokemon from the starter? So whether it be Blastoise, Venusaur, um, Charizard, Inteleon, Rillaboom, or Cinderace. Like out of those, let me know. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. Let me turn up the volume of the capture card a bit and uh, let's get going. Start of a brand new season. Hopefully we can get some good Kamoa games. I'm a big fan of Kamoa, as you all know. I'm a big Kamoa enthusiast. Loved it in VGC 2018. Uh, and I'm really hoping I can make it work this season. But yeah, man. I'm actually recording this pretty late. It's like 11.20. Um, been kind of behind schedule with a lot of things recently. Like school is really piling up. Life's piling up. I have to start looking for jobs. If you guys are, um, you know, if, if you... If you own an engineering firm or some kind of physics-based place and you want to hire a Poketuber, hit me up, you know, let me know. This is actually um, not a terrible game for the Kamoa. I really only have to dodge the Whimsicott more than anything. Uh, however, that Whimsicott could be pretty annoying. I'm thinking here, I can get away with like Incineroar, Eveltal on lead. Um... Do I bring the Kamo to this game? Nah, it's it's not a Sun matchup, so it's a little bit risky to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and bring the Zacian, and I think for my last Pokemon, uh, Blaster's is a little bit risky, so Thundee isn't really a bad idea there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go Thundee. Support Thundee is actually really nice here. Let's do it. Maybe I should lead off with Thundee. Now, nah, I definitely want the Incineroar lead because I think they're, I, I think they're more likely gonna want to lead off with the. Uh, Zekrom, which could be kind of annoying. And getting that Intimidate off immediately would be really nice. I mean, I suppose I could have also let off Thunderous and then switched into the Incineroar. That would have also been a, a better idea. But, you know, it's it's late night Marcos laddering. You know it's not going to be that great. It's just going to be fun to watch me flop for a while. That's always how it is, you know. It's, it's just, it's just going to be fun to watch me. Uh, <laughs> watch me do my thing on the ladder. I mean, last season we peaked pretty high. We were at like 121 peak. Like that's that was my highest rank throughout the season. And then I stopped playing for a while and I decayed quite a bit. And also I just played bad for like a couple of days. So yeah, we you know we finished the season at like 5,000, but that was without playing and losing a ton of matches in a day. I'd say peaking like top 200 isn't that bad, especially if it's like 120. Zekrom and Whimsicott. Okay, that's pretty much what I wanted. Pretty much what I wanted. Let's see if it's a white herb. That'd be kind of annoying. There's the Intimidate. And I'm thinking here... Ooh, what if it's weakness policy? Zekrom, that'd be a little bit annoying. I mean, at minus one, I'm pretty certain I can take a hit from it. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit risky. I'm going to go for the fake out onto the Whimsicott and just Dynamax immediately. Zekrom, while having a high attack stat at minus one, it shouldn't be able to one-shot my Evelta or even come close given how bulky I am. So being able to prevent the Trick Room, or not the Trick Room, the Tailwind outright would be really, really nice for me. 
Their team has a pretty bad Kyogre matchup without the Zek, or not Kyogre, a uh, pretty bad Evelto matchup without the Zekrom anyway, so, um, I mean, like, if I can just get rid of everything around it and then deal with it later, that, that wouldn't be a bad idea. And especially if this is some kind of, like, weakness policy BS, that'd be really great if I could just stop the Whimsicott from doing anything. As they withdraw, who are they going into? The Incineroar, okay. Uh, I don't mind this, I get decent damage. Uh, they shouldn't KO me. I can also go for a parting shot on that Zekrom next turn with my Incineroar since I should be faster. And since I have very little speed investment, I'm pretty certain that they didn't Dynamax the Zekrom here. Like, actually, how much speed do I have in this guy? I already forgot. I'm already forgetting. Good job, Marcos. Let me see. Pokemon Showdown. I have the team on Showdown. I, I always forget. Yeah, they didn't Dynamax. Oh, I am faster, though. Oh, no, I am pretty fast. What am I saying? I'm 236 speed. I'm, I'm a very fast Eveltal. And that was on screen. Oopsies. Well, nice job, Marcos. Showed that on screen. Good job. Not that you guys met. Are you kidding me? I've never seen Bolt Strike paralyze in my life. Not once in my life have I seen that move paralyze. Alright, uh, let's do this. <laughs> oh my god, that was bad. That, that, was, that was pretty bad. I mean, we took less than half, right? But the paralysis is actually really, really unfortunate there. Um, considering the fact that, that entire, the entire point of that play was to just get faster. And they're going to Dynamax now. And that might be able to KO me. I'm, I'm a fan of them using the Dynamax now. Because if I do get this parting shot off, I'm not in a bad spot. Like, they're at minus two. And then it comes down to stuff like, are they Scarf Kyogre? Or this and that. But I can always paralyze them with my Thunderous. So it's, it's not the end of the world, but it is really unfortunate that that happened so early. Next Lightning. Do I eat? Maybe. I eat... And they also didn't um, go for a fake out, that's, that's actually really good. Alright, and if I don't get fully paralyzed here, I'm actually still going to be faster than this, uh, this guy next turn. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and get in the Zacian. I definitely think that's my best, uh, my best play here. Zekrom's at minus two, they've already, you know, clicked Dynamax. Watch them Flare Blitz my Zacian, that'd be crazy. Hopefully I don't get fully paralyzed here. And I get fully paralyzed there, okay. Yeah, it's just, that's, that's just great. That's, uh, that's great, Eveltal, thank you. Thank you. Um, it's, it's honestly in my best interest to switch the Eveltal out for, um, Incineroar at this point. And that's literally just because it will give me an opportunity to, one, intimidate, but two, have Sucker Punch later on in the game. And I think that's really useful here. And the Whimsicott also makes me think they're not Scarf Kyogre, so I'm going to go ahead and get my Incineroar in here. And I'm actually going to target down the Whimsicott. At minus three, Zekrom's still going to hit pretty hard with Electric Train, but I'd much rather make sure they don't get a Tailwind off. Um, or at least they lose the Whimsicott early enough where I can stall Tailwind and deal with it later, you know. All right. Let's see if they Tailwind and just target the Eveltal. There's a minus three attack on the Zekrom. Basically, I just have to not get fully paralyzed on a Sucker Punch turn now. There's the Tailwind. Let's see if it's Sash. It's definitely Sash. Max Wormwind. Okay. Uh, I'll take it. There's like nothing to my Incineroar. And yeah, do I lose some attack on my on my Zacian? Yeah, but I don't, I don't really mind it. Because I'm just going to switch out at some point anyways. Okay, um, so this is actually kind of an interesting turn. They... Probably, um... Ah, oh, the Sucker Bunch is so good late game. 
I'm just gonna attack. I'm just gonna attack. I think a player off's fine. Ah, but what if it's weakness policy? They haven't revealed anything. I mean, they, I think they're gonna be AV, if anything, to be honest. My, my money is kind of on AV. So I think here I want to snarl and go for a play rough on the Zekrom. Actually, I could protect. No, a uh, play rough's probably just better. And snarl catches the possible Kyogre switch in. That looks like Kyogre. No, it's Incineroar. Okay. Alright, so I'm at minus one now. Let's see if they worm win me again. If they're weakness policy, that'd be a crazy play. Max Lightning. I should eat that okay. Yeah, take that okay. That does like nothing. Uh, guys! Guys, I called it right. I, uh, I called it right and I wish I hadn't. I really wish I hadn't called it right so many turns ago. It's not off the table to go for a uh, for a parting shot and a protect here. I still have all four of my Pokemon, and Thunder Wave is going to be really useful late game. I also still have Sucker Punch. I'm going to protect here, and I'm going to try to parting shot. They're only at minus one now, right? Like they're they're at minus three, but they but now they're at minus one because they got plus two, and they're definitely not a special attacker because they would have done a lot more with that Max Lightning. What if they're Rising Voltage? What if they have that? Regardless, Incineroar should be more or less safe. I think they want to fake out the, the Zacian. No, they go for the Incineroar, that's fine. Bolt Strike. I mean, that still doesn't KO me. Actually, it might. Um... I'm gonna get in my Thunderous. Thunderous should take it. He's very bulky. He's a very he's a very bulky lad. Should be able to parting shot here. And Thunder Wave might save me. Jeez. Okay, thanks, it just Barry. The Flare Blitz. Do you tank? You don't tank. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, is it? Probably not. Alright, there's the Parting Shot. I can get my Zacian back in here, along with my Incineroar. Um, and also, the fact that they are weakness policy tells me they gotta have Protect. Because they've clicked Max Wormwind, Max Lightning, we've seen Bolt Strike, and I can go for a little bit of a, a little bit of a gamer play here, and it'd be really useful. I'm gonna get my Incineroar in. Get another Intimidate off, send him back down to minus three. Um, and I'm actually going to go ahead and go for a fake out and a substitute. And this is quite risky. Uh, however, I think it's going to pay off mainly because they really shouldn't be. And they should really be going for like a, a flare blitz minimization and protect with the Zekrom. Alright, hopefully this pays off. Come on, you know you want to protect. You know you want to protect. Come on. It's optimal. It's op it's like I'm waving it in front of their face. Ah, uh, they didn't. Okay. Watch, they're not going to have protect. <laughs> they're not going to have protect. That's going to be the, the twist ending here. Into Incineroar? No, into uh, Indization. Okay, that might break my sub. It did. Okay. How do I do this? I could have taken the Zekrom from them. Okay, I might be able to take this hit. It's, it's going to be really rough, but I think if I'm faster than them, I might be able to survive a Flare Blitz if I play rough here. And I... Okay, I thought I missed it for a second. Imparting shot. Okay. 
All right, they're faster. Yeah, I lost this one. Uh, the, the paralysis definitely mattered. Kind of sucks, but that's just how the game is sometimes. Actually, um, I might be able to bring this one back. Maybe. I have to, like, never, ever, 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 ever get paralyzed. And I have to crit a sucker punch. <laughs> that's, uh, that's my out here. My out is critting a sucker punch. Actually, we haven't seen Kyogre yet. Pretty sure it's there. Like, there's no way it's not there. Watch it be Rillaboom. No, it's Kyogre. Okay. Um, I have to also be faster than this Incineroar, which I really don't think I am at this. Actually, I might be. Actually, I probably am. I think I'm probably faster with my Eveltal. Um, let's get some health back in Oblivion Wing. We're going to fake out here. I have to, like, crit a fake out into a sucker punch. I also have to be faster, which I'm not. But I don't live that. Yeah, I was going to say, ah, oh, they crit me. That didn't matter at that point. Yeah, that was that was a really rough game to start this off with, but that's just how it is sometimes. Sometimes you get, like, extremely unlucky on the ladder, and that's just, that's just something you got to deal with when you play the game. I probably have time for one more game, considering I'm already 17 minutes deep into this video, but yeah. Okay, I'll forfeit there. Hopefully we can get a Kamoa game. Like, I really want to face a Sun team so I can show off the Kamoa. All right. And man, it's been so long since I've actually like recorded in-game content. I don't care if I lose both matches tonight. This video is going up. This video is going up. You guys are gonna, you guys are gonna have a quality video to watch me be sad about. Dang, that was quick. Hello. <laughs> People are excited to play today. Okay, uh, not quite a sun team at all. Matter of fact, it's it's the opposite. It's a rain team uh, with a Dragapult, too. Uh, what do you think he's doing there? Could be Light Screens, Will-O-Wisp, something like that. Um, Scarf is a possibility. They really don't like Evelt all that much. But you know what else they don't like? Gaming. I'm going to go Thunderous Blastoise, and I think that's actually like not a bad lead in this situation. Um, Evelt all is great. Eveltal is great. Eveltal is gaming. And I'm going to go Zacian here. So uh, probably no, probably no Kamoa game this video. Uh, however, I think that Blastoise is entertaining enough. All right. I really got to get back to streaming, man. I'm watching my subscriber count plummet. I took like two weeks off to focus on school. By the way, guys, uh, as a as a physics major, don't get a physics degree, but also be interested in physics. It's possible to do both. Just kidding. Get a physics degree. It's great. It's just really hard. Hello, Andy. And Didi Kyogre. Uh, that's pretty great lead for me. Actually, no, I can't Eerie Impulse, can I? No, I can't. Yeah, with that terrain up, that's not great. Um, Should I... Dynamax yet? Probably not. Uh, I, could, I could Dynamax the Kyogre. Or not the Kyogre, the Thunderous, and he'd actually take the hit pretty well. 
But I think this is just to my better interest. Max cannonading you. And... I'll, I'll give up the Thunderous here. Uh, I can try to Thunderbolt. I don't necessarily need Thunderous to win. It's just, uh, it's just a really useful Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, and the rain's up. This indeed is not going to take this plus the, the extra damage. I got a wave incense and everything. It's going to follow me. Probably just a water spout. Thunderous Eats, thanks to my berry. Really glad they didn't, um... <laughs> really glad they didn't Helping Hand there. Uh, I don't really see a reason for them not to Helping Hand, but I suppose... You know, it kind of makes sense. Nice. Okay. Whatever comes in next to this just gets cannonated as well. The only thing is, uh, for Yveltal to really take on this Kyogre, I have to wait for the terrain to go away. There's the Zacian. I'm going to go ahead and annihilate the Zacian. I have to think, am I willing to give up this uh, this Thunderous at this point? Because Ashin just goes down. Like, there's no way it lives that. Let me look at the rest of their team. Uh, I think I give up the Thunderous. I, honestly, I don't think it does much for the rest of the game. Yeah. Uh, I'll, t I'll attempt a Thunderbolt. Probably not going to go off. They're Scarf Kyogre, so. Actually, are they Scarf Kyogre? I don't know. I mean, like, I don't have that much speed investment on my Thunderous. It's mostly bulky. Since it's like a prankster machine. I have a lot of special defense in this guy. I'm fairly certain I can take a Max Lightning into a Play Rough. Or, yeah, I guess Play Rough would be the one that makes sense there. Close combat. Okay, I might not take the Max Lightning now. Okay, not great. Actually, no, that's that's fine, I think. No, that's actually pretty nice. Um, I now can Eerie Impulse this Kyogre. Just absolutely crippling the damage output. That's actually really nice. And I got the Thunderbolt off. Paralyze? Nice. Okay, some justice for Marcos. And he's taking cannon damage. Alright, that's 100% within Behemoth Blade range at this point. And I'm already a super special defensive Zacian, so uh, I should be able to go for the Eerie Impulse into a Behemoth Blade on the Zacian. Of course, the Eerie Impulse is going to, you know, target the Kyogre, though. So we'll B-Blade here, and Eerie Impulse. And while I won't comfortably take the hit on my Zacian, um, I'm definitely going to keep at least one of my Pokemon by the end of the turn, I think. As they withdraw, okay. Landorus, you don't like this hit very much either. There's the impulse. There's my behemoth blade. Nice. Uh, that's nearly a one-shot. Yeah, the crit was pretty nice, too. <laughs> Max Geyser, I should eat that. Awesome. That's really, really nice to see. And they're taking that damage, and it has become very apparent to my opponent now, oh no, I can get Thunder Waved. And that makes my job very hard. So I think what I'm going to do here... Um, is I'd like to Thunder Wave that Zacian, and I'm going to get in my Eveltal, since I'd very much prefer to not be intimidated for the rest of this game, because I can make the Zacian match up a lot harder. Uh, 
And if Kyogre gets fully paralyzed, basically like the, the double full paralysis would be ideal here. There's no way to guarantee it, but that's always a possibility. Thunder Wave is a broken move that needs to be nerfed. In full honesty, like we should probably be hoping that in Gen 9, Thunder Wave stops having the ability to stop a move altogether. Like it should literally just be a permanent speed drop. And they don't protect, so I am now the fastest thing alive. Behemoth Blade. Keep that up. And Max Geyser. Into the Thundee. Um, that's actually not that bad. That's not that bad. Because they're still taking that damage, which is great. How many turns left of that are there? I think there's one turn left, or that might have been the last. Anyways, they should definitely be in range of this. I'm also probably going to Sucker Punch this Kyogre, because at minus two, they're never going to cameo with Water Spout, just in case they are Scarf. That's just that's just pretty safe. Yeah, they're free from that now, so uh, I should be able to do this. Behemoth Blade into the Zacian. Hopefully they don't protect, or if they do protect, get fully paralyzed. Sucker Punch goes off, and they didn't protect the Zacian, so I should win. I think this KOs. Nice. Okay, yeah. Uh, they'd have to, like, crit a water spout here. They'd have to crit both of them, actually. And they crit neither of them, so that's game. Rain stopped. Yeah, I definitely win now. Nice. I didn't even need any full paras. Just, just one lucky paralysis, you know? Just one real lucky paralysis. Let me uh, go for the... Yeah, Dark Pulse is fine. Uh, and we'll go for the Behemoth Blade since, you know, I can't miss that. Good game. Nice. So, yeah. Uh, I, you know, I, I'm going to be laddering more with this team on stream over the weekend and next week. Uh, definitely be sure to check out my Twitch channel if you guys want to see it live. Uh, we got pretty unlucky that first game, but that second game was pretty clean. Thank you all for watching. I appreciate you all. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.